Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to address something about VO2 Max. I've been hearing all over my comment section in my last video. The VO2 Max myth. You have been misled. It's right, it's a myth. You've probably heard it before. VO2 Max is the ultimate predictor of longevity. The higher it is, the longer you live, right? Wrong. This idea has been twisted and misinterpreted, leading people to believe that simply increasing their VO2 max, you should see these people, will somehow grant them a longer life. It's the magic pill. But where's the proof? Where are the studies showing that those with the highest VO2 max scores actually live the longest? Ladies and gentlemen, spoiler alert, they don't exist. VO2 max is at best a predictor of health span, your ability to function well for longer, but it does not determine how long you will actually live. What truly dictates lifespan is something far more critical. Frailty. You heard that right? Frailty, the true predictor of death. The scientific evidence is clear. Frailty is the strongest predictor of death. Once frailty sets in, your time is severely limited. In men, the average survival time after a frailty diagnosis is 1.2 years. Women fare slightly better, but they too face a quick decline once frailty takes hold. And what causes frailty? You heard it right. Loss of motor units, muscle quality, and fast twitch fibers. This is the irreversible domino effect that leads to system-wide failure. When muscle quality deteriorates, it sets off a chain reaction of falls, fractures, immobility, loss of independence, sedentary, you, you become sedentary, and ultimately, death. Let me put it to this way. Once you become frail, you are knocking on death's door. Why do I consider VO2 max a poor predictor of lifespan? If VO2 max were truly the key to longevity, we'd expect to see 90 and 100 year olds with high VO2 max scores but this is not the case. Look, most centenarians have terrible VO2 max levels by athletic standards, yet they outlive people who had much higher scores decades earlier. How is that even possible? If VO2 max is so predictable. Here is the reality. For example, a 70 year old with a low VO2 max but high muscle quality and strength has a good chance of making it to 90. A 70 year old with a high VO2 max, but declining muscle mass and frailty markers is in trouble. They may not even make it to 80. VO2 max is not a cause and effect metric for longevity. It is a correlational marker that may predict functional ability in earlier years, but it does not dictate how long you will live. What really matters for survival is muscle quality, your ability to generate power relative to your muscle mass. Studies show that muscle strength, power, and agility are far stronger indicators of longevity than VO2 max. Why am I saying this? Falls and loss of muscle quality predict that more accurately than VO2 max test. Sarcopenia and motor unit loss perceive frailty, and frailty predicts death. Building strength, balance, and motor unit retention is the real longevity strategy. Just cardio? Let me destroy the status quo. The mainstream narrative has it backwards. They are going backwards. People believe they can train their view to max and extend their life. But this is an illusion. If that was true, elite endurance athletes would be breaking lifespan records, but they're not even close. Instead, those who maintain their motor units, fast switch fibers, and explosive strength are the ones who preserve function well into their old age. This is not a theory, it is backed by hard data. The bottom line. VO2 max may predict health span, but frailty predicts lifespan. Frailty is cause and effect. Once your motor units go, you are on borrowed time. The best way to prevent frailty is not just improving VO2 max, it's training for strength, agility, and power. Muscle quality, not endurance, is what keeps you alive. So forget the hype. If you want to live longer, stop prioritizing VO2 max and start focusing on what truly matters, preserving motor units, muscle quality, and strength and power for life. Ladies and gentlemen, I will leave you with this. We lose exercise capacity. That is the problem. So it doesn't matter how high you build to max, you still lose exercise capacity. And when this happens, you can't keep 
your motor units. You can't you can't slow it down because you just you're not able to exercise as hard. So we cannot say what would happen if we could maintain our motor units for longer. If you use logic and common sense, the longer you, you maintain your motor units, the more functional you will be. So the average person at the age of 75, I said it many times, loses about 50%. By the age of 90, you lose 90%. Into the hundreds, you're into single digits. Now, what would happen? Let's use logic and common sense. When you're 90, you are functioning on 10% of your functional ability as compared to when you were tw in your 20s. Think about this for a second. Your VO2 max is not going to help you. You could have a, a 90 VO2 max. It's not going to help you there. People don't get this. You need... What happens? What happens if you could somehow increase, stop the loss of exercise capacity or slow it down and you could train harder for longer and maintain those motor units for longer. And when you're 90, instead of having 10% left, you got 40% left. What can happen there? I mean, no one knows, but we can assume with scientific backing that if you're working with 40% of your functional ability instead of 10% of your functional ability, it's common sense common sense that you're going to live longer and healthier. This is not an opinion. This is a scientific logic. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I just don't like the rhetoric I, I see on YouTube. You hear all these guys, oh, my, I have a 64 VO2 max. I'm in the elite status. You're in the elite status. Let me see you move. Let me see your elite status. Let me see how your VO2 max is going to make you scramble around. If a car is coming at you, you got to get out of the way. Let's see if those slow twitch fibers help you. Anyway, have a wonderful day and see you soon in my next video.